Hello and welcome to today's tutorial in which we're going to look at protection. Yes, that is a very necessary actually nowadays, getting more and more important with all, well, PLCs don't see too many hackers or viruses, but still you want to protect your data, right? As it is right now, my PLC here that I have is unprotected and that's the basic setting. Whenever you have a new project, your PLC is unprotected. When you want to download, it's also giving you yeah, I, not for me because I haven't changed anything. Let's change anything. Let's change something. Um, it's giving you a warning, right? Protection, yeah, unauthorized access. You're not protecting your PLC. There's always this exclamation mark. So you should probably password protect your stuff. Also down here in my compilation window, it actually tells me. Right. So right now the PLC is unprotected, meaning everyone that has a network cable, everyone that has somehow access to the network can access my PLC, meaning overwrite your program, reading everything in your program. Um, that's not what you want. Right. Usually you want to protect your stuff, especially in an industry where, where a program can be worth thousands and well, not millions of euros, but a lot of money. It can be worth a lot of money. So there's different levels. If we go to this PLC, I want to password protect it. I can either right click and go to properties. We have protection and security, right? If you right click on the PLC, we can also go to the device configuration and double click on the PLC. And here we have the same settings down in our uh, inspector window. So in the lower window here, and you see protection and security should be available for all PLCs. We have different levels. The standard setting is full access, meaning there's no protection. If this is selected, everyone can access everything. Not really what you want. Then we have the first level, read access. If you select a higher level than full access, you will have to put in a password. This password is for this level. So I will give it a password. I will say full, full. So now if when I download the PLC, this stupid yellow exclamation mark should be gone. Oh, it's not gone. Oh, this is protection in the, well, yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gone in my window back here, right? That's the important stuff back here. So now my program is downloaded. What have I done? I have turned on the read access. Right? So read access means everyone can still read. So if I go into my program here, I click on those glasses, I can read the program. I can read the current status, right? I can also go here. I can check all the program, all the data that's on the PLC. What I cannot do, right? What I cannot do, if I made any changes here now, let's do something completely strange, right? I made changes in the program. What I cannot do now is download this. Right, I can I can click on download, but let's see, check before loading. Check, 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 it's testing, it's testing. Oh, what's this? Password required. Enter a password to gain full access to the module password protection. I have turned on only read access, so everyone can read. What you can't do anymore is write, is changing anything on the PLC. So reading is still okay. If someone wants to read, they can read, but they can't change anything. Only if they have, now here, enter password, only if they have the password that I just forgot. Read, I think it was read. I hope it was read. I click here. I wait for a second. Hey, 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 hey. Incorrect. Uh, uh, no, full. Yeah, my password was full. I almost forgot. Um, don't forget your passwords, by the way. <laughs> now I can click download and now I can override the program, but only if I have the password, right? Only if I have the password. We have uh, more, more levels, right? We have also, if I turn on HMI access, uh, we can now choose a password for read access and one for full access. So I will give this here, read, read and one for full. I can also leave the read access open, then I only have the full, right? So everyone with the full password can also read. Everyone with the full password can also have HMI access. Everyone with the read access cannot have full access, meaning he can't overwrite stuff. Um, 
but everyone with the read access can have HMI access, which is HMI data exchanging. So some data exchange, basically. So I now have this. And if I download my program now with the HMI access active, which means we need a password to be able to read, right? We need, I don't have to put in the password here again, by the way, because I already put it in the last time and it remembered. It knows it's me. So it just remembers this session. If I shut down my PC, it won't remember anymore. So that's okay. I can still check for my data here. I can still check for my program because that's on the PC. But if I click on those glasses here, oh, it still remembers the password. <laughs> I will have to change the password for full, because I still have full access, it remembers my password. I have to change this password to something good. One, two, three, four. I hope I will remember. So, sorry, change the password. Of course, I still had full access because I haven't changed the password. Here we go. If I now go into my program and I want to go online, it knows, hey, you don't have full access anymore because you don't have the password. Do you at least have a password for read protection? I now could put in the password for full protection or for read. Both would be fine on that level, right? So if I uh, read, was it read protection? Yeah, read. I just put in read, so I now have the uh, rights to read what's in here, right? If I want to download now, I have the right to read, but I do not have the full right, right, full access. So I cannot override the program. Here I would again have to type in, oh, screw it, one, two, three, four, was it? I think it was one, two, three. Yes. Here we go. Got it. All right. So that's protection levels here, right? HMI access. Um, if I would now go to no access, no one would have access anymore then your HMI would also need a password, right? You would need to give a password for your HMI and you would also need to teach that password to your HMI. It's actually not too difficult. Let me show. HMI, I simply quickly add one. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Here we go. Um, so your HMI will also need a password, which is set like this. Yeah, here we have the HMI. Right, and we have the so-called connections, right? Uh, I have explained that in another video, but we have the connections, which is basically communicating a PLC to an uh, to a HMI, and I've got this, and here we go. We will need to set an access password, right? This is the password I just had for the um, I just typed in in HMI access. Right? Those are the protection levels here, right? This is how you can protect your full program. Now full protection is on, so no one can access my stuff anymore. The problem right now is I forget passwords, so I don't want that. Let me turn that off. Let me download it. So I will still have it next time. And it's also asking you if you go down with the security level, I go now from full protection to no protection. TIA portal tells you, hey, you're lowering the, uh, the the protection level. Do you really want to do that? Yes, because I will forget the password, which is bad. <clears throat> so, um, there's one more protection level, actually, or actually two. So, uh, I, I have a standard CPU. There's also those F CPUs here, right? F CPU. Let me quickly add one. And the F CPUs have an additional... Um, protection level you see it here full access including failsafe failsafe is a special part of the program which needs to be additionally saved right so here full access would just be the full access that we had before without access to the failsafe blocks which doesn't matter if you don't know what failsafe is you just have here one additional level you see the rest is still the same yeah um <laughs> I almost forgot my password here, right? You saw that a minute ago. In the next video, I will actually show you how you can not go around the password protection, right? You can't go around the password protection. Um, but if you forget the password, you can't access the data on the PLC anymore. What you would have to do is somehow reset the PLC, get rid of the password, but you will also lose all your data. I will get into this in the next video. This one was just about our protection levels here, right? 
not too difficult. I would say simple stuff, but very, very important. If you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.